early on in my first session, I said to somebody, we ought to expand the size of, of the Texas Senate. And I was new, and somebody said, well, it's his first session. Isn't he cute? <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but if you look at it just in pure logistical terms, and somebody says, well, he's a rural guy, and there will be more rural terms, there will be more rural representatives, clearly not. In the, the, the percentage, the proportion of, of, the greatest proportion of representatives in the legislature is going to be urban, and that is going to be increasingly so. It becomes, as much as anything else, a logistical concern. In, in the district that I believe that, that I will be assigned or that will be the subject of this election is going to be about 37 counties, about 50,000 square miles, substantially larger than Indiana, Connecticut, Rhode Island, a lot of those, those places. You better tune your car up. Oh, I wore one out. <laughs> and, and so logistically it's tough because for somebody like me, it's important to go and talk to those people. I think it's very important for those folks to get to see the people who represent them and talk to them about their schools and law enforcement in their county. Whether or not there's a deer season in Palmer County, nobody's gonna lose any sleep over that here, but it matters to people in Texas who, who have the same aspirations and desires and things like that, anybody else. Logistically, it's very difficult, and I think it would be somewhat more efficient to increase the size. And so in, in, in my office, we're talking about going to 37, um, members in introducing a bill that would have to be a, an amendment to the Texas Constitution to go to 37 members of, of the Texas Senate.